Man, Christian, what's going on? Uh, nothing much. My Game Boy won't turn on, man. Won't turn on? Did you try flipping the power up and down really I, fast? I, I'm trying and nothing's happening. Did you, did you try different batteries? Uh, yeah, this is like my my fourth pair. Oh. Have you tried going in? Man, that's the first thing I tried. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's garbage and you gotta throw it away. I guess so. Or maybe not, actually. Wait, what? Tell me more! You see it all the time online. Dead Game Boy for sale. Four parts. Doesn't turn on. You know, with these old game consoles that look like they've been through the war, sometimes the main culprit is the power switch. You'd be surprised what you can resurrect with a little cleaning and buffing. Today, we're going to show you how to clean and refurbish a power switch for your Game Boy Advance. It's the wrong one, Chris. Game Boy Advance. There you go. Here's the tools that we're going to use today. Two pairs of tweezers, one a straight kind and one an angled kind, some cotton swabs, a J1 Phillips head screwdriver, a Y0 tri-wing screwdriver, some isopropyl alcohol, a razor knife, some 5000 grit sandpaper, and a pair of flush cutters. So let's start with disassembling your Game Boy and unscrew the seven screws on the back of the shell. Next, we're going to remove our plastic switch extension. Then we're going to take some liquid flux, such as rosin, to help assist with the desoldering process. Then place your razor knife under the top of the metal switch cover. Slide the razor to the edge of the metal switch cover and use a downward twisting motion while heating the solder pad. This will help keep the plastic down while pulling the switch cover off. With the right side raised, grab with the tweezers and remove the switch cover while heating the other soldering pad. Next, cut your cotton swab at a 45 degree angle. Use the cut end of the swab with the isopropyl alcohol to clean the switch track. For some modders, this may be enough to get the console working again. If you think this is enough for your console, then great. If not, we have a few more steps we can take to fully ensure our power switch is squeaky clean. Let's go! Pin the switch slider down with the angled tweezers and carefully clean with isopropyl alcohol and an acid brush. Cut a sliver of your 5000 grit sandpaper about the width of the switch track. Place the sandpaper into the switch and use the cut end of the cotton swab to sand down a very thin layer of the switch track. Please note this is an advanced step and is intended to clean the most oxidized and corroded switches. Kind of like when you see your oxidized and corroded teeth. So you go to the dentist. Maybe I should go to the dentist. You know what, let's move on. Now place your power switch slider back into place and reassemble the switch and re-solder the ends of the metal switch cover. Lastly, reassemble your Game Boy and let's get to testing. See, Christian, I just saved you like $100 there now. You know, that really wasn't that hard. So with that $100, I'm gonna go buy some Doritos and uh, probably play some more games. I find more about Duke because I'm a gamer. He's probably gonna get some game fuel. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like or comment below if you enjoyed the video and be sure to follow us on all of our social channels. You can also maybe hit that subscribe button because uh, if you don't, we'll, we'll probably be here all night and all day, every day, and not really sleep. He's not kidding.